installing MSN Messenger. Instant Messenger that is being revived by Escargot, which are dedicated de developers that are re reviving MSN and Windows Live Messenger, which are both programs that allowed people around the world to um, connect. It was ran by Microsoft before they bought Skype and everyone had to start using Skype instead, which then fell. So then people went to things like Discord or or whatever. Uh, but this um, these people have have revived this uh, this service because MSN was such a cool service and it was killed because Microsoft ran in the wrong direction. This uh, installer is is like having a bad time today. And now we reboot. But to get this to work, you have to update Windows XP all the way to 2009. This um, program works from Windows 2000 and up, even on Windows 10 and 11. To end up the video, there is a message in the Discord. If you go here, um, it's about uh, the uh, the hosting costs of of this of um, a different thing that they do called Nina, and this is basically a revival of all of these. Q Link, classic AOL. AOL Instant Messenger, ICQ, Yahoo Messenger, all of these, anyone remember these from the 2000s, 19, uh, 1990s? If you do, then this service attempting to revive this service. There's a hundred people online. Uh, there is a Discord, a Reddit, forums, wiki, there's so many things about this. Um, to um, gain access though, if you go here, you have to donate because this stuff is like not free and these um, devs don't really have a, a lot of money to spare to like keep these up. So donations help a lot. Web Escargot, which is a, which is a way to access this stuff from your web browser. So if you if you for say don't want to run Windows Live Messenger, you could use your browser and log in. Um, 
at the moment it's down and if you do want access you have to donate again because of the hosting costs uh, but yeah there is group chats as well uh, so this you see works on Windows 10 very epic y you can change your icon you can play games etc uh, I load up this window there's no game option <laughs> you see all of these but uh, this service can be accessed by anyone I guess the only thing about it is that the account system is not secure or any secure way to sign in I guess that's why maybe this is not commercialized yet once they do like fix things up and they get enough funding this could be a new era where old MSN things like this BM come DM norm and could compete with the likes of discord because like this is such a good service but and like sometimes discord gets a bit sort of cluttered because one thing is that it doesn't really have a uh, like I like that Windows Live has a small window and and doesn't take over the entire screen like discord like if you want to make this really small you can't you literally can't Ugh. you can't go any you can't go any further but you could make it smaller like this that's it so yeah uh, this is a this is a nicer design this is this is a lot more messy because uh, like I, I don't know why why is it so messy discord fix it <laughs> but anyway and also there's sub sub subscriptions not very good but Windows Live one like I guess some features from Windows Live is now appearing in Discord like if I bring this up again and we go into a random uh, voice channel in a Discord server that I don't care about and we go here we go to the UI then we do here UM can play games but you can also do this on Windows Live do different activities so basically this is a feature from Windows Live interesting uh, and I guess the I guess the MSN plus thing would be nice what we like nitro where you kind of have to pay something extra to get extra features but yeah this is an interesting time on the internet and i hope this succeeds it's it's cargot and nina goodbye